Hoodly hoo baddies, guys. Sorry if there's any noise. I'm sitting in my car with my windows open. So, anyway, moving right along to the good stuff. We're gonna do this in two parts again. I haven't done one in a while. These are my favorites and my haterits for, I guess it's for October and November. Well, just October, I guess, at this point. Um, I'm gonna split it up into my dog products and other products. So, this is gonna be the other products. I've got a big old box here. Let's just start off with the first one. This first one is a firm and fabulous hairspray from Biomega. I got this in one of my, oh my gosh, what is it called? Beauty. Beauty something, it's where you get those full size products. It's a quarterly subscription. I only got one of them. Um, one time a while back, but I finally finished this. This is a 10 ounce. This hairspray was really, really nice. I liked it. It didn't make your hair hard, which I hate when my hair gets hard. I would give it a mm, seven out of 10. I would have liked it to smell a little bit better. Not that it smelled bad, but would have liked it to smell better. Next up is a nail item. This is uh, Julep's Oxygen Smoothing Base Coat, which I used in conjunction with this. I love this base coat. Holy smokes, if you want your nails to last a while, try this puppy out. Love it. Definitely smooths out your nails. Next up is something else I used up recently. This is Lush's No Drought Dry Shampoo. Love this stuff. I would give it a 9 out of 10. It would be a 10 if it was easier to use. It is a little hard to use with the shaker bottle. Moving right along, we used up a, I guess this is more of a empties and favorites and haterits. This is my Mac Fix Plus. Used up one of these puppies. Love this as a finishing spray. If you guys don't use it, I highly recommend it. Makes your makeup stay all day long. Used up this guy. This is a pss, dry shampoo. Pss, pss, pss. Yep. Uh, this was in one of my Beauty Army, I think, boxes. Love this stuff. I wish it smelled a little fruitier. It smells like baby powder, but it does the job. Like that stuff. I'm not going to rate everything, just some things. Um, Next up is this GK Hair Taming System Dry Shampoo. Looks like that. I feel like this bottle got used up really, really fast. Like, I feel like it was almost equivalent to this guy. And this is a 1.76 ounce, and this is a 5 ounce. So, quite the size difference there. I give this guy, I don't know, a 5 out of 10. Wasn't crazy about it. Didn't love it. Didn't hate it. Next up is this foundation primer. I liked this guy. This is from Bodyography. Definitely did the job. I currently use Professional and I've been sticking with that, but this guy was actually really nice. Didn't do as good of a job of filling in the pores as Professional does, but still primed my face nonetheless. Next up is another dry shampoo, Holy Smokes. I've been saving these up for a while. These are not all from one month. Sorry guys. I just, I guess I didn't have a chance to go through them. I may have reviewed this last month. I got this at TJ Maxx. Um, it was on clearance for $5.50. This is their faux dry, dry shampoo from Blow Pro. Looks like that. This bottle is really weird to use. As you can see, it's a little cap here that you twist and then a hole appears and you shake it and squeeze it. Um, very weird application process. I, I didn't hate it. It's better than Lush's. Um, but I didn't love it. I, when you got towards the end, it was hard to use up what's left inside. Um, I'd give that guy a 7 out of 10 just because the application wasn't ideal. Next up, I used up a little mini candle from Bath & Body Works, Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. Mmm, who doesn't love these mini candles? If you like pumpkin, you'll definitely like this guy. Love that candle. Moving on, this is something that's a little weird. This is Secret's Clinical Strength Deodorant. Um, not that I need clinical strength. Um, I got it in one of my boxes and decided to use it. It looks like that. Um, the weird thing about this deodorant, um, I know somebody that needs the clinical strength protection and they said you have to apply this at night. So that's what I was doing. Um, again, I don't need this clinical strength protection. I just got it so I figured I'd use it. This is in uh, freshwater orchid scent. The weird thing about this is, I swear it makes your hair stop growing. At first I thought it was just a slow, slowing of the hair growing, but I feel like it makes your hair completely not grow now. Sorry, there's a plane going by. I don't know, does anybody else use this? Do you feel the same way? Moving on, next two things. Uh, this one is from Lush. We used up a Snow Fairy shower gel this month. And then we tried out this Cloud Star Buddy Splash Original Lavender and Mint Spritzer and Conditioner for Dogs. It's got kind of a yellowy hue to it. The scent was nice, fresh, clean. My dogs didn't really like it being applied, but it did the job. It made them nice and soft. Oh, some more stuff in here. I may have reviewed this one last month, actually, now that I'm looking at it. 
Oops, dropped it. Sorry, guys. Next up is this uh, little, little hairspray from... I didn't even use all this because it broke, and I'll tell you why else. This is Professional Sebastian Sharp Shaper. I was going to say sharper. Shaper Fierce Ultra Firming Finishing Hairspray. She looks like that. Just a little sample size. Average little spray aerosol bottle. Wasn't crazy about this. Um, the sprayer... Oh, see, it, now it works. It smells like pepper, like spices. Definitely not a fan. The sprayer had stopped working. Maybe I'll give it a go again. I don't know. I used up this set of wax melts from Sonoma Life and Style. I got this at Kohl's for like a dollar, believe it or not, on their clearance rack. And the scent was so nice. Love this scent. It's very floral. A oh, little bit of sweet. Love it. Again, an island orchid. I'd give this guy a 9 or 8 out of 10 because the scent doesn't last a super long time like scents from Scentsy. But definitely does the job and makes my house smell good. I think that's it in that box. Last thing I have is a food item. This is from Ruffles. I've been obsessed, obsessed with these chips. These are hot, classic hot wings chips inspired by Buffalo Wild Wings. Oh my god. <laughs> these are so good. It says uh, there's two times the deep ridges. I love these chips. I'm not a chip person. I don't eat many chips. Um, but these are probably my favorite chip to date. Love these chips. I've gone through a whole bag of them already. I don't know what my chip kick is, but I'm liking these guys. If you haven't tried them and you like buffalo stuff, try those out. That is everything in my, I guess, October. October favorites, haterits, slash empties. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys enjoy these type of videos, let me know down below. I am going to do a dog products one as well. If you'd prefer to see that one versus this one, or you like both of them, give me some feedback down below. I surely appreciate it. As always, guys, I thank you so much for watching. Oh, and let me know if you guys tried any of this stuff and what you thought of it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a